What's up, you guys? Chet Guthrie, the Dream Poet here, coming to you all with day 33 of my vlogging experience here in the state of Florida. And for our talk for today, I think we are in a good spot to talk about it. Tonight, I'm going to post the first round of my horror manuscripts to you guys to decide if horror is the right submission for my literary work to be published. Um, I hope so. I'll let you all decide. Maybe, maybe not. And also, since we're at a graveyard, I think I found the place for my first ever 3 a.m. challenge. Yes, I watch those things. Like the Omar Gosh, Urban Ghost, Urban Explor Exploration. I think I got their channel name right. I think maybe later on, maybe within the next couple of days, we're going to see if we can't get any activity. But having said that, being respectful of those who have long passed who are resting here in their resting place, I will not be doing anything disgraceful or hurtful because I know they're these wonderful people that have gone and passed on and in this wonderful little graveyard I will respect their boundaries but I'm just kind of curious if I can't get some kind of activity being respectful no because I know I'm in their grounds um, why I am so finicky about this is it goes back to when I was with Adventures United. Great channel. Check them out. Doing a lot of cool things, but I mean, I left because of my differences, but everything's water under the bridge, and I'm okay with that now. But, um, I mean, gosh, I mean, it's like, I mean, they're just kind of like scattered. But, it goes back to the, what happened with the time that I went to Old South Pit Pittsburgh. <laughs> Old South Pittsburgh Hospital when I was attacked by a demon y'all don't know I got nauseous it felt like somebody was had their arms their hands around my neck strangling me very scary situation had to get out of the building people prayed over me and we broke that um some other things I have heard footsteps before I have seen a thermal ghost on captured on camera that was freaky um so you guys like i said if i go here on a given day to do a 3 a.m challenge i'm going to be very respectful of the people who are here and if they want to show me a sign you know that if anyone is here in this area you know it'd be kind of interesting to see you know, like maybe some kind of rustling or some kind of whisper or some kind of talk just being respectful um Having said that, I know I've shared some of my ghostly experiences. It's very, um, I've seen a lot of things, but I'm kind of glad that I found this graveyard not far from work. And I'm kind of curious, it looks, oh wow, there's one from 1874. So, I mean, I imagine this graveyard probably has to have been at least here for at least a couple hundred years. Oh yes, and one more thing, one more experience that I had. I had this back in, um, I had this experience back, actually about a month ago. I was with me, I was with my best friend at his house, and I felt something get to me on my leg. I wasn't sure, it just felt like something went like, and I was like, eh, something scratch or something's itchy. Later that night, there were three scratches across my leg. That was freaky. Um, and I can't quite remember. It's a, it's a lot to tell, but uh, I'm going to attach the link. It was a Cleveland Daily Banner feature that I did for my friend Colby. It was a Halloween episode. Great story, and if you all want to read more up on that, I'll share that with you guys, but I'm going to attach the first round of this horror manuscript. I just thought that I'm in a good place to potentially do a 3 a.m. challenge for you guys but being respectful to those who have passed on and the family and the friends in this area so having said that remember 
check out my friend's channel. Remember, keep up with me at Dream Poet at Facebook and at my Instagram in the links below. Thank you all for the love and support. I love you guys very much. Peace, y'all.